hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding the keyword active id in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 15 development tutorials and in the screen you can see i have opened the appointments tree view and if i open any of the draft appointment from this so let me open the op0013 and here you can see we have a cancel button over here and if i click on the cancel button you will be getting a wizard which we have added in a couple of videos before so what our intention is that here you can see for the appointment i have recently added a sequence which will automatically generate which i have added just before this video in the same way that we have done for the patient one so using the sequence i have just created a sequence value for the appointment and you can see the appointment name is op0013 so upon clicking the cancel button here also we have an appointment field which is a many to one field of this model so here in this wizard which is a separate model i have a many to one field to this main model so our thing is that on clicking the cancel button i need to get this appointment as a default value over here that is here you can see in the main form currently i am at this record op0013 and if i click on cancel i need to get that value as a default value in this field so let's see how we can achieve that using active id in Udu. so first of all what i'll do is that i'll go to the pycharm here we have the custom add-ons and i'll go to the om hospital module and i'll open appointment view so this is the appointment form view and here you can see this is the current code of cancel button that execute a python function you can see type object and it execute a python function so if i go to the corresponding model appointment.py here you can see this is the function also we have commented code here which is running using type action so i'll just comment this and i'll enable this that is we need to do using type action so let me just upgrade the module and let's see what happens so i'll just duplicate this tab and let me go to the apps menu and i'll upgrade om hospital module so you can see the module is upgrading and if i refresh and if i click on cancel you can see you will be getting the same wizard but with type action you can see on clicking this button this action will be getting executed so along with this action what i'll do is that i'll add a couple of codes over here that is default sorry in context i'll add a context to this button context and context should be of a dictionary and i'll set like this default of appointment id so default underscore which field just check this field name you can see the field name is appointment id so i'll write here default underscore appointment id so i need to set default value for the appointment id field so i'm just setting the default value inside the context so default appointment id and put colon and the value should be active id so i'll write like this so along with the button definition I have just added a context and inside the context i have passed default underscore field name as active id so right now before upgrading you can see on clicking the cancel button the appointment field is coming as empty and now i have just added a context default underscore field name equal to active id and let me upgrade the om hospital module so i'll go to the apps menu and i'll upgrade om hospital module so you can see the module has been upgraded now i'll just refresh the screen over here and if i click on cancel you can see op0013 is coming as default value inside this field so if i navigate to any other record here we have op0016 and if i click on cancel you can see 16 is coming as the default value so if i navigate to another record op0015 and cancel you can see 15 is coming over here that is we are passing the default value in context so here you can see context equal to 
context equal to default underscore appointment id equal to active id so this is the use of active id in odoo similarly right now we have just passed over here so there is one another method suppose if i remove it from here i'll just remove it from here just i have removed the code that i have added and let me upgrade once again we have one more method to achieve the same using python side from python side so let's discuss that point also so i have just upgraded module after removing that now i'll go to the appointments and if i open op0016 and if i click on cancel you can see the value is coming as empty now i'll try to do the same from the python side so i'll navigate to that wizard model so if you come over here and if you click on cancel and if you check the edit view form you can see the model is cancel appointment wizard so what i'll do is that i'll go to the corresponding model so here we have the cancel appointment wizard and we already have a default get function for that model so if you don't have a wizard get default get function just write a default get function for that model and what i'll do i'll print the context over here I'll print the context here self.env context so i have already told from self.env we can retrieve the context so i'll just print the context here and if i refresh i'll clear the log i'll clear the log and i'll go to the ui and i'll click on the cancel button so on cancel button we will be getting the form view so if you check the log you can see the context has been printed and if you check the values inside the context you can see we have lang we have time zone use id allowed companies and here you can see you have active model and you have active id you are getting active id here and if you check that active id if i close this you can see the id of the original record is 31 so what i'll do is that i'll do like this hers off so i'm passing a default value for appointment id field from default get method so refs of appointment id equal to i'll just do like self.env context dot get active id so i'll just write this code active id so if i print this i'll be getting the current appointment id from the main record so i just print self.env context dot active id and let me comment this so let's just see what we are getting in active id so let me refresh and if i refresh the screen over here if i click on cancel if you check you can see you are getting 31 so what i'm doing is that i'm passing that as a default value for appointment id field now if you refresh restart the odoo service again and if you go to the ui and if you click on cancel button you can see the default value is coming so if you check change the record if i go to the op 0014 and if you click on cancel you can see you are getting the default value so we have explained two case where we can get or we can achieve it in two ways so this is from python side from inside the default get method so from the default get method i'll check the context and i'll search for active id and i'll pass it to this field so there is a chance to get error now because we are using the same wizard from a from the menu also this menu also so here is there is chance so you can just add an if condition so there is no error you can just add like this if self.env context dot get active id you can just put like this and you can do like that so i hope you understood two methods that is one is from inside default get method checking self.env context dot get active id and passing it to the field or from the xml side it is bit more easy well simply here what we have done we have simply done like this context equal to default appointment id equal to active id now let's assume you need to pass some default value for this field reason you can just do like this default reason equal to you can pass some text test you can pass some 
test here so i'm passing a default value for the recent field so if you check the technical name of this field you can see it's recent and i'm passing the value as test so let me restart and let me upgrade the module so i'll discard i'll go to the apps menu and i'll upgrade om hospital module so you can see the module is getting upgraded i'll come to the screen and i'll refresh and if i click on cancel you can see the reason test is coming as a default value so i hope you understood how we can use or utilize the active id in odoo from python side get it from the context if you are passing the default value from xml default underscore field name colon active id so i hope you understood this video if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us over the email or feel free to connect us in the social medias like linkedin facebook twitter and instagram and if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe the channel so that you won't miss any videos from Mates. so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you